here for Bubblelicious tonight. I'm with Keith from JobCoin. Keith, tell me a little bit about what you do. JobCoin helps bloggers and website owners by giving them a new way for them to make money off their audience. So it's an alternative to advertising. They can install a job board in their site, and now hiring managers can pay to post a job to reach their audience. So on the flip side, we give recruiters and hiring managers a way to reach all these niche audiences out there that they're not finding on the major job boards like Monster and CareerBuilder. So do you have any major targets or do you kind of go after everybody? <laughs> um, the more niche site, the better. So it, it depends less on the total volume of traffic to a website and more on how specific their audience is. So how did you get hooked up here at STIR? Um, I came to, to Stir a few months ago and really enjoyed the event and have kept up with Sanford and thought it'd be great to pitch here. Well, it sounds like they're getting ready to start, so I'll let you go, but thank you for chatting with us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chandra Hardister, and I'm here with the founder of Attendio. Hi. Good. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. All right, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about how you got started. Well, Attendio was basically, I started a company because I was founded too difficult to figure out what I wanted to do on Friday nights and also what I wanted to do on Saturday mornings with my daughter, my three and a half year old daughter. After 10 times to the zoo, I was tired of it and wanted to find new activities. And the thing is, it's too hard to figure out what you want to do today on the fly when you're in a hurry. And so we created Attendio as a service that basically remembers what you're interested in, what are your specific interests, and brings those to you either via the web, directly into your electronic calendar on your computer or your phone, or via SMS texting. You can, if you're on the go and you're in the car or out at dinner and you want to know what events are happening tonight or what's happening this morning, I can text on my phone and get relevant events back. It's a great concept. So I hear you guys launched that demo a couple weeks ago. How did that go? It went very well. We got some great uh, reception both from press and also uh, partners. So a number of portals and other calendar companies uh, approached us. And so we got a lot of great traction from that. Great. So what can we look for uh, towards in the future here? Well, for the next uh, few months, we're actually going to be running a lot of uh, uh, appreciation parties for our top recommenders on Attendio. Anyone can become a recommender. Just go to attendio.com, sign up, find some events, recommend them to your friends, and tell your friends to add you as a recommender, and it's very, very easy. So get them to add you as a recommender, and our, the people with the most verified fans actually will win tickets to, we have a show, we have a, uh, tickets to the Kate concert that sold out at Bimbo's. We have tickets to a private party with Third Eye Blind, Seven Jenkins. Uh, and we also have tickets to the DJM and Mickey Avalon show at Mezzanine on March 30th. Great way to get some involvement out there. Yeah, well, well, it's a way to basically reward our, our top recommenders, our top and loyal users. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm here with David from Confab. David, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Well, Confab is a... Uh, trade show and conference database as you can see we're the largest database of conferences in the world and we've tied a social network to that so that you can um, review, rate, blog about speakers, sessions, venue, etc. Um, as you saw from Salim earlier we already had a review of Scott McNeely's talk that happened just a few minutes ago. So how many users do you guys have roughly? Um, I actually don't know. We started in uh, November. We actually tracked the number of conferences. So anyone can post a conference, and then we have two little guys in India that verify everything. So you started in November, right. and um, what's next for you guys? How did you get hooked up at STIR? How did we? How did you get hooked up here at STIR? Um, Salim knows Sanford Bar, and he asked us to come. So what are your plans? How do you think that being at STIR will help you guys? Well, right now we're looking for funding, and despite the rumor in TechCrunch, we haven't signed anything yet. Um, we are talking to a number of people, and uh, a number of our partners are very enamored with us um, because, uh, you know, having this database and the social network give us great leverage in the conference area. Well, good luck to you, and thanks for stopping to chat with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.